This video will take you through how to use Zoom and set the camera position in Videoscribe. When you insert any text or image into Videoscribe, the default camera position will centre the image on screen and zoom so it's almost filling the view. You can see the camera position, which is where the image will appear on the screen, by double-clicking on it on the timeline. To change this, just move and resize the image and place it on the canvas wherever you want it to appear. There are controls in the bottom right to allow you to zoom and move around the canvas, or you can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom and click and drag on a blank space to move the canvas. When you're happy with the position of the image, click on the ticked camera button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen while your image is selected. If I then press the preview button, you'll see that the image will now be drawn in the size and position I have set. To remove a camera position, you click on the crossed camera button and this will reset it back to default. Videoscribe works best when you maintain a zoom level of around 100%. If you have too high or too low levels of zoom, you'll find that Videoscribe doesn't function as well. This level is shown at the bottom right of the screen. If you do zoom in or out too far, you'll see a warning sign pop up. When your scribe finishes, the camera automatically zooms out to show the whole canvas. To change this so the scribe finishes with the last element on screen, click on the Publish button, then untick the Zoom at End box. You'll see that the scribe then ends on the last element in your timeline. And that's how you use Zoom and set the camera position.